the awesome thing happening to ungrateful NFL players who take a knee during the anthem. Everyone knows about the self-entitled, misguided, uninformed, and former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick's actions on the football field by taking a knee. He knelt during the Star Spangled Banner as our national anthem played. Kaepernick officially began his protest on September 12, 2016 and explained his actions at the time. Once again, I'm not anti-American. I love America. I love people. That's why I'm doing this. I want to help make America better. Well, things have gone crazy since then. Fans are now punishing the NFL. They've held parties wherein they burned FNL products they bought, turned off the TV and even stopped attending games. Just last weekend, things were so bad that tickets were being given away, under the guise of a fan appreciation day, just to get fans into their stadiums. On October 1, one former fan flew a plane over Lambeau Field during a game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and Baltimore Ravens. The plane flew a banner that read, Stand and Respect Our Flag and pictures appeared showing empty stadiums during last week's games in Miami, Cleveland, Chicago, Kansas City, and Indianapolis. V. Indeed, loss of viewership has resulted ratings to drop significantly. As a result, network executives are scrambling to solve the growing problem of crashing ratings for the National Football League, by cutting games to end the perceived oversaturation of football on TV. One proposal is to cut Thursday night football by 10 games next year. But Kaepernick's actions have spread like wildfire. NBA players started kneeling even though there is a rule forbidding it. There is even one report that Ann Arbor City Council members did it. And TV networks have stopped showing national anthem at NFL games. Then we find out that the NFL Players Association funds the far left. Gee, go figure. But perhaps a reverse trend has begun. Jerry Jones, owner of the Dallas Cowboys told his team that they will stand and properly honor our flag during the playing of the national anthem. New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady and wide receiver Chris Hogan walked over to military service members and gave them high fives. Shaquille O'Neal and Charles Barkley came out against the NBA player protests. Major League Baseball has risen in popularity and 18 NFL Hall of Famers were baptized in the Jordan River in Israel. In a recent interview, Jerry Jones explained how these anthem protests are hurting the NFL. All times, I want to do the right thing by them and their customers. I have a great responsibility to the people who support us. We all get great benefits from having a lot of people watch our games. All of us do. The bottom line here is that these idiots do not respect our flag, our country, nor our military. Our service members have fought, bled, and died for the First Amendment freedoms for these numbskulls to act as they have. President Trump perfectly explained what respecting the flag is all about. Included in his October 13, 2017, weekly address, he wrote. We honor the flag. We pay tribute to the men and women who have given everything for its defense. We renew the bonds of love and loyalty we owe to our fellow citizens, to every American who looks to the stars and stripes and sees woven into its fabric their past, their future, and their place in our great American family. Can family.